Hey book nerds, welcome to my book haul unboxing. As you can see, I have a lot of packages this time around. I'm a little crazy. Um, I guess maybe because I was seeing all those Book Expo America tweets, I'm just like, I'm gonna make myself feel better because I wasn't there to participate in all the bookish fun. So I went on Book Outlet. And this is what happened. So that's my excuse. But I really do need to stop buying books. I really, really do. No more books. No more. No. That's what I tell myself anyway. But anyway, the first package here is from Indigo. And I'm so excited for this. Ah, thank you, Mr. Book Nerd, for this. He also gave me another book in one of those uh, bags over there. And I'm so excited. I was really dying for this one. And it is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. Oh, I love this cover. I mean, when you see it on the computer, it's not as great, but in person, it's gorgeous. And it matches the spine as all the other books, so I'm so excited. Thank you, honey. And two books in this one. Oh, that is And it did fall. And if I can pick it up. Ugh. Whoopsies. <laughs> did you guys see did you guys see what was in it? I hope you guys didn't. Okay, so this is the one that I was gifted. Take me on by Katie McGarry. Oh, if you guys don't know her, she writes really amazing contemporary and I love her writing. Um this is her fourth one, I want to say, and all her other books are over here. I just highly recommend them. And if you guys undress the book, you can see underneath they have this. Like, they have more, like, photographs, so it's it's really pretty how they do that. I really like that. So I'm just going to put this back. And... There's another book in here, and I'm pretty sure everyone can guess what this one is. I pre-ordered this one, so I sent it to Indigo, and I picked it up. City of Heavenly Fire. This is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series. Holy crap, did you guys know how big this is? <laughs> it's huge. There are about 725 pages. Um, Yeah, but the font is a kind of... Font size is kind of big, so it's about 13 pixels. So hopefully I didn't show a spoiler. Maybe it was too fast. But anyway, so excited for this. Have you guys finished it? Just let me know if you have. Please, no spoilers. And uh, let's see which one this one is from. This is from Random House. Okay. It's kind of open at the edge there. I'm gonna see it like this. Ah. And okay. oops, kind of did a damage there. And this is Hexed by Michelle Chris and I was invited to a random house um, si signing or a lunch a luncheon with the author and I'm really excited so hopefully I can get it. Um, read by then so June June something I think this is coming out next month so all I know about this is that it's witches and this one is from ECW press the Toronto um, indie publisher so this is always such a struggle oh no I forgot my scissors I might have to go and get it. Some packages are easier to open than others. Ooh, this is awesome! Depth of Field by Chantal Gurton. I read the first one, which was, um, what was the, the Rule of Thirds? And this is a cute photography book. I really like this one cute so thank you so much ECW 
that is a really cute cover. I like that one. And... Okay, what was I going to say? Oh, I blacked it out because it has my address. But this is from Simon & Schuster, Canada. Okay, I think I know what this one is. Okay. And it is humongous. Whoops. I'm going to have a hard time reading this because I am terrified of huge books. This is The King's Curse by Philippa Gregory. And um, I got invited to read this for review. And oh my god. This is coming out September, so I have a lot of time. But in publishing, it comes in really fast. So wow, this thing is huge. Um, I just love historical fiction, though. Okay, there's about 650 pages. So yeah, I have um, to read this really quickly. Thank you so much, Simon & Schuster. And then these two packages are from Random House. Random House. Ooh, don't know what this is. Oh my god! Yay! <laughs> The Lovely and the Lost by Paige Morgan. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I was eyeing this and I didn't get it, but luckily I didn't because, oh my god, this is the second book in the Beautiful and the Curse series. Oh, I love this one. It's about gargoyles and I love the covers. Like, it's so pretty. And, oh my god, thank you. It's so nice. I love it. Thank you so much, Random House. And another one from Random House. Okay. This one also finished copy, I believe. Oh, and there's... I have another one. Uh-oh. What am I going to do? Ah! I have this one, too. So maybe I'll put this in the donation box that I have. Um, maybe I'll do a giveaway. Who knows? Maybe. If I have budget in my um, account next month. We'll see. <clears throat> this is both of them, so. First one, second one. So pretty. And I will go get the scissors. Hold on a sec. And, okay. Book outlet. Where else will I get it from? I actually forgot which ones I bought this time around. Okay. I'm such a nerd. Okay. This is the order paper. And that was the bookmark as always. And this one was a smaller order. <gasps> Pretty. Okay, this is Trap by Andrew Fukuda. This is the third book in his, um, I want to say dystopian series. So, Hunt. And if I'm wrong, please let me know because I'm probably wrong. So many dystopians out there. And now I have this collection complete. And Inferno by Sherilyn, Sherilyn Kenyon. Kenyon? Um, this is, I want to say, the fourth book in her um, YA series. I think it's the fourth book. I don't know if there's any more. Please let me know if there's more in this series. And finally, this one is The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland by Catherine M. Valent. Valent. And I have this whole collection complete. Yes. Thank you to Book Outlet. Oh, so those are the other books right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's a little damaged here. I don't know if it's a scratch indent, but it's all it's all right. There's a little scratch, but whatever. Was it a, a scratch indent? I don't think so. Inferno was a scratch indent, and I don't see that much of a like it's dented here right there but whatever it's still readable and oops, that's the 
when I knocked over the vase there. Okay. Okay, this one has all in the box. have so many. <laughs> okay, so this is book one, The Scorpion Shards by Neil Schusterman. Heard amazing things about his writing, so I'm just like, let me get all of his books. Like, literally all of his books was on there. So I got it. And book two, I believe this is book two. Yeah, book two, Thief of Souls. That is a crazy cover. And... Book three, Shattered Sky. And so, yay for getting my collection. It is complete. Ah! Oh. And I got World Shaker by Richard Harlan. This one was getting good reviews on Goodreads, so I was just like, let me just add this. And I saw this when I needed to get it. Emerald Green by Kristen Gear. This is um, time traveling, I want to say. Yeah, time traveling historical. I know I'm probably um, missing Ruby Red. Uh, or was it the other one? I don't remember which one I have anymore. And then two more books here. The Uprising by Lisa M. Stas. Stace? Stace? Stace pretty cover look at that and even the spine is gorgeous and then last but not least because they had this I have been dying to get this one it is winger by at Andrew Smith oh my god look at the back it's so pretty and cute all I know about it is is um boarding school I was gonna say school boarding boarding school <laughs> And that's all I know about it. Look at that gorgeous spine. So, hey guys, I'm just inserting this into my book haul. I just did a spontaneous Twitter giveaway and this is international. So all countries. All you have to do is retweet my tweet with a picture and follow me on Twitter. So that it's simple straight to the point and you guys have a chance to um select two copies ah, out of this stock right here i'm gonna try to lift this okay so this stack of books that's the queen of the tearling so you guys have a chance to win two copies from this stack right here so Feel free to enter and I'll see you. I am done. 12 minutes of me talking about books. I can't buy anymore. That's what I say anyway. Until next time, bye guys.